What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and I think I have some sad news. The Visionary Discord has been down for some time now, the Reddit is no longer available, and I haven't had a response from the developers in months. I think it's time to bid farewell to Project Phoenix Rising. I'm absolutely heartbroken about throwing in the towel on this project. I was I was fully committed to continuing to, to, to follow them and give them my full attention and support until they either released the game or they themselves told me they were done. However, without any interaction from the team and all of their socials fading away, I have no choice but to call it. I'm incredibly sad to do so, and I kind of hope that somebody from the Visionary team will see this and let me know that I'm sorely mistaken, but that really just seems like wishful thinking. Visionary Games were the first ones to decide that if Epic was going to take Paragon away from the community, then the community was going to recreate Paragon. They, however, began attempting to create a third-person MOBA well before Epic announced the free release of Paragon's assets. Visionary was already deep into their game with a unique map, their own minions, and of course their own heroes, not to mention the kaiju-looking Orb Prime boss. Since they already had a clear vision of what they wanted their game to be, the decision was made to stay the course and eschew the Paragon assets in favor of their own. They had some very exciting community corners that showed the game working with minions running down lane and their own hero using basic attacks and casting abilities. Everything seemed to be on track for this project until November of 2018. The decision not to use the Paragon assets didn't seem to be a unanimous one and about half the company split away from the project, many of those members allegedly going to work for Metabuff and their resurrection project called Core. Another big loss for the company was their main 3D modeler, Almighty Gur, had to abandon the project due to real life obligations. That's completely understandable that a person can't invest so much time into a volunteer project when they have a family to feed with a paying job. There was a message to the community in their Discord at that time stating that the project was finished. That, however, was not the end. The remaining team members rallied up and decided to keep working on their project, albeit with much less community interaction. They wanted to focus solely on creating their game and not mess around with live streams and community corners. They decided to focus on creating a one-lane 3v3 demo version of Phoenix Rising in order to prove that they could indeed create a working game. They also continued to bring on new talent and stayed fairly active in their Discord and Reddit. I stayed in contact with their lead, always giving them an opportunity to update the community on their progress if they wished, but that offer was always politely declined. Which brings us to the present. With no updates in years, all the socials shutting down, and no response from the developers since January, I have to assume that the project is done for. Even if you've never heard of Visionary Games, I hope you can understand what a loss this is to the community at large. It was this crew that originally relit the Paragon Torch and showed us that there could indeed be a light to look forward to after Epic cut the power. If it wasn't for Visionary Games, I would have walked away from Paragon and never looked back. I may not have ever heard of Omeda, Strange Matter, Soul Leave, or Meta Buff. Would those companies exist if it weren't for Visionary Games? Probably, but I doubt so many members of the Paragon community would have kept tracking the successor projects if it wasn't for the work put in by the team behind Phoenix Rising. They built a bridge of hope that took us from Paragon to the successor projects operating today. I sincerely hope that anyone that worked for Visionary at least had a, a good experience with game development and perhaps something to add to their resume going forward. I know many of you don't drink, but if you do, pour one out for Visionary the next time you have a few rounds. They deserve all the respect that we can give them. Sad Goose. Shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees, and Meow Mix for Men.